Okay, dear students, uh, let us see. This question seems to be interesting. A ball of mass m collides with a vertical wall with an initial horizontal speed u and rebounds. Rebounds means it changes the direction with a horizontal speed of v, with a speed v. The graph shows the variation of the speed of the ball with respect to time. So the graph is on your screen. And uh, at time t1, the collision started at time t2, the collision has ended. Okay. So what is the magnitude of the mean net force? Fine. Mean net force. Now in this kind of cases, when we want to find the mean net force, it's a collision oriented case. So we are definitely interested in finding the change in momentum. So because in collisions, that is the only important thing, huh? change in momentum. So, and we know how is it defined now force F is defined as the change in momentum divided by change in time. We need to find the force F average value. So that is why we are denoting with Delta. Now, what is the momentum change in momentum? So let us say this is the wall. Momentum is a vector quantity. That is why vectors become very, very important now. Uh, this is the ball that is going in this direction with the velocity u. It rebounds and goes back. So the velocity becomes minus v. So, uh, ball. Yeah. so we have to choose one direction as a positive and another direction as a negative. See, assigning the signs to the directions is purely dependent on you. You can choose any direction to be positive and any direction to be negative. That depends upon you. So we choose this direction as positive and this as negative. We'll see. So the final momentum is, I will say, negative minus mv because it is in the left direction. Minus, what was the initial momentum? The initial momentum was mass was m, velocity was u. So we will write it as mu divided by the total time t. So that time is coming out to be t2 minus t1 according to the graph. So this should be the force and the force is coming out to be minus m into v plus u divided by t2 minus t1. Now the point to be noted is there is no negative sign here in the options. There is no negative sign here. But if we see the magnitude then D is coming out to be the correct answer for us. But there is a problem of the negative sign. Now, what is this negative sign? What this negative sign stands for? We have already told you, I have already told you that we are talking in the terms of vectors. We have assigned the signs to different directions. And force is also a vector. So the negative sign here indicates the direction in which the force is acting on the body. Because we are concerned with the change in momentum of the ball, we are finding the direction of the force on the ball. So it is evident from the diagram that the direction of the force is towards left. So here at this juncture, I can say there is a force on the ball towards the left, but there will be a counter force on the ball, on the wall also. So force on the wall because of ball and in pink color, I'm showing you the force on the ball because of the wall. Obviously they are equal and opposite. They are action reaction pair. So the ball, so the force on the ball is taken to be negative. So that doesn't matter if it is, if they have taken it positive, they have just switched the sign convention. That is the only difference. So you can change it. You can have this positive and this negative. You will get the answer D. Let us now verify what is the answer given in the mark scheme. Yes, the answer is D. I hope the things are very clear. If they are not clear, please do let me know in the comment section. I'm very, very particular about it. If you feel that it's not clear, I will upload another video for you. All the best.